<clears throat> you want to go outside? Yeah, just for a second. Oh, right on. I really want to see this because this is a beautiful little, beautiful little spot. We did. We did. We can you? Uh, we have. Just and you know, Mike are you recording? Cool. All right. All right. We're back in Bill Thorburn's backyard right now, trying to fjord up a hill here. This is Bill's secret garden. <laughs> And I'm one of the few men who's seen a secret garden. I gotta tell you, it's lovely. Come on, <laughs> up to the gazebo. Small as small as in, man. This is a gorgeous place. We're in Bill's backyard. Hey, right should now. we sit down on the bench, oh, or do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna hang out in the gazebo? Let's sit on the bench. There's nice light over here. Are you still to work with Carmichael? Do you think you're going to try to, or don't know yet? Oh, I, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, those guys are great. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of your influence or tangent to the influence, but. Um, I've definitely seen like the design value of that place increase over time. We got to you got to remember, you know, t 12 years ago when we started, you know, and in this town especially, copy was king. Yeah. So oh, you yeah. had you had yeah. those ads with, White you ads know, like literally like serif. novels, yeah. <laughs> you know, little 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 fishing lures, you know, that people yep. would laugh and yeah. they would, they'd have and now And that know, was like the breadwinner. Like that was the breadwinner like that ran the agency to get that clever line, like the clever copy line. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh and um so design, yeah, I mean, I think design made a big difference uh at CL and it it, it opened up visual horizons. Mm -hmm. Um and uh gosh, they got some incredible art directors over there now. Um that, your, uh, I, actually, I'm very curious about this. Like right now, who are your favorite shops that you look at and see that are emerging that are cool both here anywhere? The shops that I look at that are my heroes are, you know, the folks like you. But who do you like? Like who do you Yeah. <laughs> 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 those guys. No, seriously, because I look but here's the most uh, well, the most, inc most encouraging thing that I've seen is that I've seen a generation of twenty two year old designers who don't feel like there's any problem for them to start a company, and there is no problem for them to start a company and do I, something great. You know, I like some of these interactive shops, like Puny. Yep, there you go. And, yeah, um, they're awesome. And uh, I like 8-Hour Day. Mm -hmm. I think those guys are amazing. <laughs> I think Duffy, the renaissance at Duffy has been great to watch. Yeah, it's, um, it's and, almost, and, you, know, you have to think of that as, as the best version of the company, and it's about the sixth version of that company. We, we grew up, um, you know, and Joe um, was out breaking ice for us. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so, you know, what he's done for this community and for our careers. He wouldn't um, like the fact that we all owe him a collective beer, I don't think. But <laughs> it, is, it is the God's honest truth. I mean, he's the reason I'm here. He's the reason that I came here. He's the reason but, I stayed but it, here. But it goes down to him and the Pat Fallons and the Lee Lynches and, you know, those guys that were mm -hmm. willing to kind of. And McGilligan. It's easy to forget that dude. You well, know, Nancy like, Rice, who created Nancy the Rice. Sue Krolik. Yep. You know, that created That's Sue Krolik, the, yeah. Yeah. Could, peppers no, cutter. Really. They got her. Really they're all dressed up. <laughs> you need to get a shot of that. I think it's a scathing indictment when of all the designers here in the backyard, the best dressed people are the dogs. That's <laughs> both insulting and maybe proper. Maybe proper. I've never tried to have a style. I've always tried to find the soul of it's, something. It's important to note that. And, it's, uh, and it's it's relevant to the work that I've seen over the past 15 years, that if you make that decision, that the style just is not helpful things get really healthy fast. I, I look at it as, as a little bit like method acting, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Whereas the brief is the script and um, each designer kind of tries to find, you know, if you're trying to be Marlon Brando, you got to feel and act like Marlon Brando. If you're trying to be, you know, um, Winona Ryder, you know, you got to look and act and feel. And that's what each brand kind of has its own personality like that. Mm -hmm. And so our whole thing wasn't about style. It wasn't about, you know, um, individuals. It was, again, the work is the ego. And it was about finding something in the soul of a brand. Um, and uh, and I, that's kind of what I look for when I, you know, in this, you know, enormous of 20 years of collecting books. Um, and that's kind of where I spend my time. It's 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 sure. quiet. You know, it's almost like your street research. Mm -hmm. And um, also not intimidating. A book is not intimidating. Like a laptop is still an intimidating device. It needs, pow it needs power to run. But the thing about a book is that it's still, as a machine, it's an incredibly inviting machine. You know, it, it really works as an invitation. The way you use it, the way you read it, the way it's laid out. Well, and I and I think the book a book talks to you. And and I guess where I'm going as far as kind of working out of home is that I just I just kind of let them talk, and let the inspiration kind of come up and and gurgle up and and you know percolate up, and just let the ideas start to come you know mm -hmm. and you st you start to sketch and you start to think and you start to write, and that's my time at home because you know as as you know this as a studio owner, um, 
the phone is ringing, the deadlines are happening, a meeting here, a meeting there. You have to sign something. You have to sign something, something, right. And, and, and you there's get syphilis just out of nowhere. <laughs> and just, you know, it really takes the complexity of what we're doing, you know, uh, of running these studios, uh, sometimes becomes um, kind of it gets, a, it gets greater momentum than, than some of those kind of sacred times that we had as, as just pure designers. It has a rhythm that's bigger than the work, and that's unfortunate. But that rhythm is big, sometimes gets bigger than the work. And when well, that happens, you have to retool. So you got, well, you got to find your sanctuary. And the sanctuary for me is, is just, you know, calling in and saying, listen. I'm in the gazebo. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be in, you know, I'll be in later. You know, a call you, or just scheduling time away. Mm -hmm. When I was, uh, you know, when I was working um, uh, for Dayton Hudson Marshall Fields, and I still do this, you know, it, it, my favorite thing to do is just to walk down Nicollet Mall, mm -hmm. and you you start yeah. to see what's happening in fashion. You start to see what's happening in retail. It's still worthwhile. Like, and there's Nicollet trend. Mall still worthwhile. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. And how it's not irrelevant. Nicollet it, Mall is not an irrelevant place. And the windows, and you know some of the stuff, the technology, uh, you know, and, and and what's happening in retail, what's happening in a bank, you know, and and just kind of going out on like these urban safaris, you know, and trying to get this inspiration, and trying to kind of, and I remember just kind of, I'd just kind of get that point, I'd, and I'd I'd stand up from my desk, and I'd walk away, and I'd walk out, and I'd just start yeah. to walk, and it was you know kind of kind the of important with a, part of being gone, it's just the important part of being gone, completely, and you just let it. It, you know, you kind of let it all kind of come in. You don't know how it's going to kind of come out, but um, you know, as I think, I think we still have to kind of find that that way to regenerate our batteries. And I probably get about thirty seconds before I freeze, and I, I can't believe I'm actually going to be complaining about the cold on air because that's so. <laughs> but I, yeah, honestly, yeah, I I want to thank you so god sh darn much for taking the time, Bill, because it's a big investment for you to take a couple hours out and interview, but. It's wonderful to have you here, and I'm just glad to see the company move forward. Well, thanks, Jeff. And, and uh, gosh, we've been friends for a long time, man. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, hey, thanks, everybody, for coming to Design Smoke. I'm with Bill Thorburn here from the uh, Thorburn Group um, in his backyard, and I think we're probably getting somewhere near zero degrees as the sun goes down in South Minneapolis. Uh, but thanks for your time, and uh, we'll see you again. Let's go get some hot chocolate. Let's go. Yo! <laughs> If you had hot chocolate, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I got maybe some tea. Hey, Steve, you got to be careful, man. I